So what are fall allergies? When are they? Well, actually, they, for most people, they begin around the middle of August and will go until it gets cold after you've had a couple of frosts. And for a good part of the country, that's due to something like ragweed, so late summer weeds. Certainly, there are other things such as mold spores, which also tend to peak out in the late summer and, uh, and fall. And sometimes it can be confusing as to who has what. If you're really sensitive to a weed like ragweed or another uh, late summer uh, pollen such as the tumbleweeds uh, or if you're sensitive to uh, mold spores. So any of those could be uh, a problem around that time of year. So the symptoms of hay fever are usually primarily nose. So the nose runs profusely sometimes. You're sneezing your head off. You're having to blow your nose constantly your nose itches, but it may be other things as well. Your eyes may itch, the eyes may water, they're bloodshot, your ears itch, your back of your throat may itch. All of those things can uh, be part of really bad allergic rhinitis or hay fever. I guess it makes sense that if you're just trying to see what would work, is that you first start with an over-the-counter antihistamine and there are certainly ones now that don't make you tired that are over the counter uh, and that's a good place to start but if that doesn't do which it frequently won't for people that really have bad symptoms um, then you need to talk to your your doctor The allergist also has other things in his pocket that are going to be very helpful. For one, he knows what's out there and what's likely to be causing the problems, knows what's in the air at a particular time of year, and so he has a better understanding of that. He can go ahead and do the appropriate evaluation, whether that's skin testing or something of that nature, and then have a better feel for how to where to go from there. And so. Uh, for more difficult to control symptoms, it's very appropriate to, uh, to see an allergist and get evaluated by, uh, by an expert. Allergy shots or immunotherapy, allergen immunotherapy, is a useful thing to do. It's useful not only because it helps with your symptoms, but it's truly what we call disease modifying. It actually makes you less allergic whereas all the other stuff just kind of treats the end symptoms or cuts down on some of the allergic inflammation, but nothing makes you less allergic except for uh, allergy shots. Mm -hmm.